Now let's talk about what to do if your photo contains more than one person. This is a common thing. You'll photograph a couple or a family of two or three people. Each person really needs a different kind of retouching. So there's not a one size fits all solution for it. So let me show you how you can use multiple copies of the skin retouching filter to adjust people differently. All right, so I'm here in effects. That's where I do my work with the skin retouching filter. I'll add filter and select skin retouching. I'm gonna focus on ladies first here. So let's grab the dropper tool. I'll click on her skin. I'll grab the range slider and I'll adjust that till I get most of the skin in there. Now you notice I'm also getting the gentleman as well. Don't worry, I'll show you how we fix that here in just a second. So there we go. Just ignore him, put your finger over him if you need to. I'll make my adjustments so that I get just the correct adjustments for her. There we go. I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna paint it off her eyes just a little bit to make sure we keep those nice and sharp. Maybe the eyebrows are just a little bit with a little lower opacity. These are the same techniques that we've already seen. I'm just showing you how to use this on more than one person. So there we go. We'll just tune that up a little bit. And now I'm gonna paint him out completely. So I'm just gonna grab a big brush with a low feather and I'm just gonna paint him out. Always hit the O key to look at your mask and make sure you're removing everything that you want while we're doing this. There we go. Great. All right. So she's done. He's not. Now, if I use those same settings on him and I left him in the same mask, his skin would get over smooth. We want to use a different amount of retouching for him, especially an elderly gentleman. The character and the skin is really what makes them look great. So we don't want to get rid of that. What we do want to do is we want to take the edge off of it and we want to even out the color uh, a lot. So here's what we do. Same technique. I'm just going to click on add filter. I'll add that skin retouching pane. This time I'm going to get his skin color. There we go. We'll tune up that mask so we're getting all of him in there. And then we can either paint everybody out or an easier thing to do is just to hit that invert mask button and just simply paint him in now. Make sure your paint mode is set to paint in. And now we're just going to focus on just painting that in on his skin here. There we go. Now I used a brush that was a little too big and I got his eyes. So I'll just switch over to paint out mode and we'll just make sure we keep his eyes out and keep his lips out. We're going to turn this down quite a bit in strength wise as well. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. There we go. Now we'll come over here to our skin retouching pane and we're going to use way less. We're going to use about half the settings that we used on her, only about 20 blemishes and like 10 smoothing but we're more concerned with evening out his skin color. So I'm gonna bring that evenness slider up more. That'll help reduce the red dots on his chin a bit. There we go. We'll even those up. And we might even increase the color saturation on his skin just to make him look a little more ruddy. So click on the color pop-up and bring the saturation slider up a little bit. Keep in mind he's standing right next to her, so don't go overboard. We wanna keep it still natural. There we go. That's how you would apply the skin retouching filter with different settings to multiple people within the same photo. This works great for small groups of two or three or four people. If you're photographing a football team and you've got 40 people sitting on bleachers, it's probably not a practical approach. Then I would probably just use the overall uh, skin color setting and not worry about painting things in or out. Just use it at a very low setting for large groups. All right, there you go. Thanks for watching.